What is so special about a black-legged seabird? Hey guys, it's Brandon, and welcome to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. Today we will be discovering an arctic seabird known as the black-legged kittiwake. Are you ready? Let's dive in! The black-legged kittiwake is a small seabird or gull. Their habitat range is coastal seas and coastal cliffs. These birds have a relatively small migration path, but it is still limited to the northern hemisphere. I will insert a map to give a visual. So how did the black-legged kittiwake get its name? Well, if you guessed that it has black legs, you would be correct. Give yourself a pat on the back. In North America, there are two types of kittiwakes, red-legged and black-legged. In Europe, there is only one species of kittiwake and it has black legs, so they're just called kittiwakes. So what about the kittiwake name? It comes from the call or shrill kitiwa sound that it makes. Let's go over some ways to identify this bird if you see it one in the wild. The kittiwake is only about 13 inches tall and has a wingspan around 36 to 40 inches wide. It has a white head and underside, where the back and back of the wings are gray. Each wing has black tips, the beak is a plain yellow, and don't forget about the black feet. They are kind of important for this species. What do these birds eat? If you have large gulls around your area, you might think of them as pests who steal your snack, hang around marinas, or even garbage dumps. But these birds only eat fish. They make This makes sense because of their habitat. Let's get into my encounter with this small bird. I'm not a bird expert by any means. I typically don't even notice birds all that often, but I had some help from my team in identifying and learning to like them. We were watching a large iceberg and it had these little gulls flying around it. The sun was shining and casting a soft glow through the ice. I was snapping some pictures when I noticed these kittiwakes trying to compete for the highest point of the iceberg. It was like they were trying to play king of the hill. So I caught these two birds being illuminated from behind by the sun. The picture was just so crazy that I knew I had to attempt painting it. So here's the finished piece. I want to say thank you for going on this adventure with me. It means so much that you take time out of your busy schedules to watch these videos. If you feel like purchasing a print or an original of the art that you just saw, head to my website. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, as always, links are in the description down below. Remember, share your discoveries and adventures with somebody else. I've been Brandon and I'll see you in our next adventure.